Step two in the home selling process is going to be to fill out all of the disclosures for your home. So our transaction coordinator is going to be reaching out to you. They're going to send over um, a variety of different documents that are required here, both by the city, the county and the state um, in order to uh, sell your property over to a buyer. So we're going to send all of those over to you. Um, we use a service called Glide, which is going to make it really, really easy for you to just point and click on a computer and answer everything. So you don't have to print things, sign them, scan them, email, fax, all that crazy stuff. Uh, we're going to use a lot of technologies. We go through this process to just make it paperless and seamless and easy as possible for you. But the other cool thing is all these services are also going to provide you digital versions of the document so it's easy for you to have record of everything that you've done. So as we go through these disclosures, um, a lot of them are gonna ask you about the history of the home. They're gonna ask you, are there issues with the foundation? Are there issues with the, uh, with the, what, the septic system? Things along those lines. So as you're going through these disclosures, when in doubt, disclose it. Um, you do not want to withhold any information as you're going through these disclosures because if you withhold any information, that's how we get in trouble later on down the road. So if you even think you should disclose something, answer is yes. Don't even ask us if I sh should I disclose this? Yes, that's the answer. Um, let's just get it all out there. Let's put all the cards on the table, make sure we don't end up in a lawsuit years down the road. Let's just disclose everything. Um, and some of these questions are gonna ask, do you know of any problems with if you don't know of any problems, the answer is no. Um, so don't say, well, I don't know. If you don't know, the answer is no, as you're going through these disclosures. If there's any of these disclosures you're not 100% certain on, if you need a little bit of clarity or a little explanation, reach out to your agent. They're happy to help answer those questions for you because we just want to make sure these get done right. Um, with these disclosures, depending on what was agreed to in the contract, you're typically going to have about a week to get these done. Um, the sooner you get these done, the better off we're going to be to stay on track with our closing um, of your home. So make sure, get these done. If you have questions, reach out to the agent. And again, if you're not sure if you should disclose it or not, the answer is yes. So that is step two in the home selling process.